Hello everyone, welcome to another edition of... What's in the Box? Yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of What's in the Box. Now, you can probably expect these to come out on every Tuesday, because apparently, I didn't know this, Tuesday's movie day. I really didn't know that. So yeah, every Tuesday you can pretty much expect, almost every Tuesday, to expect a new episode of What's in the Box. Or at least Tuesdays when movies come out. So, now, what do I have in this box? Well, it's a secret, but it's a jelly box. But let's look on the back of the jelly box. Let's see, what gnaws in this box? Oh well. Alright, but can I get a drum roll, please? And it is the remake of Godzilla! Yes, I just picked up the remake of Godzilla, which, by the way, a lot of people say is a bad film. It's not a bad film. It's a good film. It's got a lot of, uh-uh, go back to the fight. I want to see the monsters fight. This film is a good film to have in your collection. I haven't watched it yet, but, um, as you guys know, I do reviews, and I have a review of this. So, I will probably put my review in the description box, and you can go watch it for all 50 of my fans. <laughs> yeah, because I'm up to 50 subscribers. Woohoo! Go me! I guess. But, um, I actually did enjoy this film after watching it twice, considering the fact that every time he roared, this was my reaction. But yes, Godzilla is not a bad film. Even though it, sometimes I feel like it spends too much time on the human characters instead of Godzilla, but this isn't like those older films when Godzilla was the main star. Godzilla's the main star of this film, just he's not in the film as much. I guess you, could, you can compare it to how Michael Bay does the Transformer movies, with how like Michael Bay hardly has um, the Transformers in, and it's more based on the humans. That, that's freaking stupid. But this one, with Godzilla, this is treated as a natural disaster, which is what Godzilla should be considered as, and this is the format that the movie should be. It's not like with Transformers, where Transformers, it should be focused all on the Transformers instead of the human counterparts. And in the show, there was human counter, there was human people, but it didn't focus on them as much. It focused mainly on the Transformers. This movie has a fair enough split of human character and monsters in it and enough. And so, you know, guys, with all in all, this has been another episode of What's in the Box? And, uh, yeah, stay tuned for possibly a review of uh, another book that I'm going to be doing. Stay tuned for that. And uh, just, guys, have a good day.